Hi Storm fans and welcome to Storm TV on YouTube. I'm your webcast hoster and play-by-play -play commentator Max Artis and joining me on the screen is Zach Sullivan, returnee for the Manchester Storm. Hey Zach, how are we doing? Yeah, I'm good. Um, glad to be back, obviously. Um, kind of already a chin to get back on the ice and get going. How's the summer going so far? Yeah, it's good. Um, been back back to Manchester a couple of times to see my partner and and kind of spend some quality time with him and um, yeah now just kind of getting ready to buckle down and get ready for the new season. Are you one of those guys that fully uh, decompresses after the season, kind of shuts hockey down completely, or you do kind of keep in touch with NHL or other things that are going on still? No, I mean obviously I know um, Oilers pushed against seven and and lost, um, but I don't watch any. Um, I watched a bit of the. Uh, World Championships with GB and yeah. but no yeah I'm, I'm more kind of like decompress and um, kind of take a month off and see my friends around the country and see my family because obviously they're down in Surrey I'm up in Manchester during the season so it's nice to see them for a bit and um, yeah and then after a, a few weeks I kind of get my mindset back into it and get back ready starting to get ready for the new season. With the uh, success of last season coming as high as we did in the table and uh, going on a bit of a cup run as well. Uh, what do you kind of see your expectations of next season uh, from the team? Yeah, I mean, um, obviously it's great we finished fourth. That's uh, that's, I think uh, the majority of the uh, expert keyboard uh, keyboard experts put us in tenth before the season, so it's nice to kind of shut them up a little bit too. And um, yeah, I think it kind of came off. Um, how good a group we had in the room you know I don't think there was anyone that really pulled the wrong way on the rope um so yeah I, I don't see any reason why we couldn't replicate that kind of that kind of form during the season I mean that that 14 13 game win streak we went on was was huge um but obviously it was it was all kind of for nothing with the way that we crashed out of playoffs quite uh quite dramatically sort of uh you know that that's in my head and I think in in all of our heads the guys that return and we we want to improve on that and give a good showing like show what we're actually made of in playoffs rather than uh what we showed up and and gave you uh, you speak about the guys in the room many of those guys are coming back uh what does it mean for you and the team especially is to have that big core of players coming back from not only just one year deals but multiple year deals as well yeah, I think it's great. I think it's huge. Um, obviously, it gives the club uh, that kind of continuity, the stability that we know who's coming back, who wants to be back, and kind of gives you a, a, a solid core to build around. Um, you know, it's the core of a team that finished fourth. So um, if you can make some improvements and, and bring in the right kind of pieces that we may have been missing through the season last year, um, yeah, I think it's I think it's great. I think it really gives Finner and, and Mike the the opportunity to um, build a really solid team and obviously bringing bringing Winnie back um, might might upset some fans from other teams but you know in, in my opinion he's best goalie in the league and um, that just gives you such a solid foundation to build off of you know what you're going to get every night you know he's able to come in and steal games and stand on his head every night and um, yeah I think that was a, a really big kind of building block for this season getting him back and um, Kind of being able to build around him is is uh, is a great starting point essentially. Yeah, not like, not like I usually like to single out players, but one that might be kind of for you is your your D partners back in CJ Garcia. Yeah, obviously, uh, I th I think he signed a two year when he when he signed. So um, yeah, it's great to have him back. Obviously, I I get on with him very well. I get on with all of the D men really very well. Well, everyone from last season really, which is quite rare to say that you get on with everyone on a team. Um, but yeah, it's great to have him back. Obviously, I know we. I think we worked well together. Um, I think we played the last two seasons, last two months of the season together. So that was when we were kind of on our win streak. And um, yeah, it's you kind of don't have to waste time trying to um, build a rapport and build that kind of uh, camaraderie with a new with a new D partner. You can just go straight pick up where you left off last season. So. Yeah, I mean it's it's great. CJ's back. He's obviously a fantastic player as well. So that's a that's another thing to that's a, that's a huge positive. So almost running out of time here, but Zach, I'm going to give you the final word to the uh, to the fans. Um, what do you want to say to them just before? Well, we're about a month away now. We want to start the season. 
yeah, obviously, I mean, um, I think you guys know how much uh, how much of a difference when you when you come in and you're loud and um, yeah, obviously, can't wait to see you all around the events and especially at the Storm Shelter and uh, hopefully, uh, I'll call him out. Hopefully, we we'll, we all get to witness Connolly's first professional goal as well. So that would be uh, something to come along and cheer for. Yeah, definitely. He got his last his first professional point last season on assist on a Joe Morrow goal. And hopefully it's in the uh, in the G column this time around. Uh, so Storm fans from myself and from Zach Sullivan, keep your eyes on the social medias for more signing announcements and more events coming up. I've been Max Artis. That's been Zach Sullivan. This is the Manchester Storm TV. We'll see you on the next one.